Okay, great. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Stream Text 101. And um, we're going to talk about how to get started with Stream Text and how to use a platform. And I'd also will introduce you to Anissa uh, Nirenberger, who's going to be also here to provide not only um, really from a writer's perspective um, using Stream Text and how easy it is to get up and running, but also help you with some of the tools you might need as a card caption provider. Um, to really be able to deliver uh, services as well. So, anyways. Um, so, if she can't hear me. Okay, so here we are. Um, welcome to Stream Text 101, how to get started with Stream Text. Um, I want to thank you all for coming and viewing this, and I hope you get some information on it. We're really trying to give uh, an intro to how to get up and running on Stream Text and provide you some of the tools to do that with. Um, I've also invited Anissa Neuenberger um, as our uh, guest to be on this uh, Facebook session as well because she can not only talk about it from a writer perspective, but she's also going to be able to give you some good insights on what you may need to do from a cart caption provider in order to get up to speed and be able to deliver this type of service. So. Without any more questions, I'm going to get started right now, and I will pass it over to Anissa and let her talk through a little bit about what we're doing. And I'll actually show you guys here. And then, uh, so anyhow, can I'll let Anissa kind of talk through uh, her side, and then uh, we'll come back and start through with a quick demo. Hi, everybody. Hopefully you can see me. <laughs> I'm joining you from Boise, Idaho, and I'm really glad that you could be with Nick and myself today. Can everybody hear us okay? Yeah, if you, can, if you can't hear us, let us know. Um, I have a few comments of people having some audio issues trying to get their audio on. Okay, looks like we have a couple people. It should be on, so you should be able to hear us okay. But let us know if you can, and we'll try and adjust it. We're using a new platform for this, so it may have some. Okay. All right. Awesome. Excellent. Hi, everybody. My name is Anissa Nirenberger, and I have been a captioner for 25 years. This year, I'm celebrating 25 years. Uh, and I have used stream text for over eight years, and I'm happy to be here today to talk with you about stream text. Nick and I are both going to give you really valuable information. So we really hope that you're, you're wide-eared and, and ready to learn about stream text. Um, I am also an instructor with Learn to Caption, and I, uh, like I said, I've used stream text for the last eight years. It's my goal to help you come into this market of being a cart captioner. And Nick and I are going to do that today. He is going to talk about the um, technical side of stream text, and I'm going to talk about the reporter side of stream text. So with that said, I will let Nick go ahead and get started with stream text, and I'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, great. Well, thank you for the intro, and I will probably come back and have more question and answer too at the end. I'm going to go through some of the technical setup stuff you have to do as far as getting uh, stream text up and running on your computer. I also want to let you know too that our cart provider is having a hard time getting the audio for this, so we will definitely have it posted um, after the fact, and I will upload uh, caption the caption file for the on-demand replay um, for the session as well. Um, hopefully she can get that figured out quickly, um, but she's having a problem with your audio. If anyone else is having audio issues, let us know, um, uh, but I think we're okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my presentation view here and just talk you through the basics of screen text. It's very easy to do. A lot of people contact me. They're nervous about it. They've wondered you know, if it's really technical and hard to set up, and it's really not. It requires typically 10 to 15 minutes of total time 
get you up and running and configured and output. So let me um, let me go in here and actually talk through and walk you through that process. So again, really easy to use. Why do you want to use Stream Text? Well, A, it's the number one platform used for remote card capture. You want to work out there and work for multiple firms. It's just an easy to use platform and it allows you to log in once and work for everybody. So it's very easy to use. Um, it allows you to do a lot of things. You can output to different devices, different types of platforms, uh, all at the same time. And so it, it allows you to do multiple things really with the same feed, which makes it easy. And the other part is we're here to help you succeed. We're really partners with our writers. Um, we work hard to deliver just a technical service. We don't deliver uh, captioning service which allows us really to work closely with you, help you um, be successful. So installing, it's very simple. So just five simple steps. And I'm gonna walk you through this and, and, and give you a quick kind of example of how this goes. But, and we've got documents online that we'll post as well for these simple setup instructions. But really, the first thing is setting up your StreamText account, which is your username and password that you use to access your account. Now, you'll be able to reuse that again with any of the firms you're working with over again. You don't have to use different logins for different firms. Um, the second step, we're going to install what's called the Stream Text Connector application. This is a piece that's responsible for sending your real time from our server all the way uh, from your computer to our servers. Uh, this is probably the most complicated part, and it takes a few minutes to do, and I'll walk you through that and some of the configuration setups. Um, the next one is just starting your real-time file. You'll start your file up, you're outputting to the connector. And then the third part is logging in, and, or the last part is logging in and seeing your stream text job. And I'll walk you through that all just right now. So let me jump out of this presentation now. And I will bring up the article that's actually out there. Now we have support articles on everything. So if you go to our website and click support in the upper right-hand corner, you'll have access to all these articles. Under here, there's an article that's called Installing and Updating using the StreamText.net connector. Again, very easy to do. I've got, I'm kind of going to scroll down through it here. Um, but I've got all the steps mapped out, all the screenshots in here in a, in a lot of detail that walks you through it. But it's really very simple. You're really just going to go to the Dropbox link. It's going to download the installation program and you're just gonna open it. And that's gonna walk you through the installation wizard. All preset and default, you should just have it next and install. And that's it. And once it finishes, it will go ahead and launch and come up. Now typically, it's gonna come up in a configuration that's a little different than this. I've already installed it. It's going to come up with your connection settings first. It's going to ask you to enter that account information I was telling you about. Once you do that, you go ahead and sign in. The next step is to configure your real-time software to connect to this. Again, I'm not going to go into this in detail, but I'm going to show you it from a high level. We have two options to connect, uh, either outputting via a COM port or accessing it via local TCP. We also have the window option right here, which allows you to actually write into the window and type directly into it. Typically, you're gonna be using the COM port option. And again, I'll, I have specifics on, our, on that support section for different writing platforms. But what you're gonna be doing is setting up typically an ASCII or ANSI output. It's gonna to output to that COM port. In this case, I have COM port 10 identified as my COM port. That's all there is to it. You hit connect and write, you'll start your real-time file, and you'll be ready sending real-time to your job. The only thing you have to do after that is logging into your account. I've already logged in here. And you'll come into your dashboard. This is our current dashboard for today, and you can actually see I've got the cart provider's job uh, listed up here going. Um, but all you need to do to start a job and to broadcast your real time is very easy. Just click on Schedule Event, and it brings up a form. Now, again, I talked about Stream Text being able to do a lot of things. But really, there's just a few fields you need to fill in to do a basic card job. And it's all on this basics tab. And the event name is probably the most important. And this can be anything you'd like, as long as you don't use any spaces in the name. And this is really your stream identifier. 
And so I'm going to enter an event name. I'm going to have this event start right away. You can schedule jobs to start in the future. You'll set a duration for how long you think you're going to be using the event. And you'll pick a writer. In this case, obviously, I'll, I'll pick myself. And that's it. You hit create event. And that's going to go ahead and start the job. And it comes up on my dashboard. And you can see it just went live. You would log in, you click on watch, and you start your job. That's all there is to it. So again, the Streamtest connector, once you have that configured up and running, second step is log in and look up your job. And in a lot of cases, you're not going to need to schedule the job. A lot of firms will actually do that for you and manage that for you. So again, it's designed to be uh, very easy and flexible to you. So let me change my screen display here so you can see both of us again. So I'll bring Anissa back in to talk a little bit more about um, some of the next steps. So well, how do you get started? So really the easiest way to get started with Screen Text is just to contact us. Go to our website, click on support. Um, we've got all the documents there for getting started. But you can also contact us directly, support at screentext.net. And I'll set up a session with you, get you up and running. Um, I'll help you get your software connected. And it, again, it usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. My part's probably the easy part. And, you know, I get a lot of questions too about people coming in and being kind of inundated with, um, you know, can I do cart captioning if you've, if you've been a court reporter and you're trying to get into this type of work? Um, that's really where someone like Anissa is able to really help you um, get the, your theory down and get your approach right so you're delivering the product uh, that the firms are looking for. So I'll have Anissa talk a little bit more about some of her perspectives on that and getting up and running, but that's really all there is here. And we're here to help. So if you need any help at all, um, we're always here to help and I'll pass it over to Anissa. Thanks, Nick. As Nick said, support is only a quick phone call or email away. StreamText has amazing support. Um, Nick can attest to the fact that I myself have called him a couple of times as I'm going on air. Of course, as a captioner, we want to connect at least 10 minutes in advance so that we have time to troubleshoot if we need to. And he's always been right there to answer my question, and I'm up and running and off I go. So I've used StreamText for educational classes, business meetings. I'll be using StreamText on Saturday for a college graduation ceremony. I used StreamText last night for an arena feed in an NBA game. Um, just this summer, I had the chance to utilize stream text using Google Translate to output what I wrote in Spanish, or excuse me, what I wrote in English to Spanish text, and it worked flawlessly. It was really amazing. So with just my one stream text user, I'm able to log in and choose one of the seven different companies that I captioned for, and everything is just all neat and organized right there for me to choose from. Stream text is very, very easy to use. You can be set up and ready to go in, as Nick said, 10 to 15 minutes. So, you know, kind of think of it this way. 2018 is just around the corner, and why not look at becoming a cart captioner as an opportunity for you to grow as a real-time reporter? I want to kind of share this scenario with you. Um, you. You probably have a driver's license, and you're licensed to drive a car. But can you hop up in this in the driver's seat of a semi-trailer truck and drive that safely without negatively affecting people around you? We might need some help, right? We might need some training. Well, it's the same kind of thing when you're going from court reporting to cart captioning. They're quite different. And so training is needed to assure that we're at a minimum of 98.5% total accuracy ratio. This isn't the number that your CAT software says. So some of you who, are, who have obtained the CRC, um, that's a fabulous start. It doesn't necessarily mean you can be a captioner because that test is only at a 96% level. Captioning companies who want to hire CART captioners or uh, if your court reporting firm has a request for a CART captioning job, we'll need to boost that up a little bit. We need to be at that 98.5% mark. So the great news is 
I can help you. Um, all you need to do is go to learntocaption.com and I am happy to help you. I've, I've had the privilege of working with 400 court reporters in the last four years, helping them achieve their real-time cart captioning and broadcast captioning goals. So there's no reason to be nervous about this new opportunity. After all, as the saying goes, you don't know what you don't know. And so we're, we're just this one quick stop for you to learn what you don't know so that you can up your ante a little bit in the real-time uh, writing profession and start doing something that maybe you've always been curious about. I've really been curious about cart captioning and broadcast captioning. How do I get from point A to point B? We're happy to help you. Learn to caption.com and um, I'm happy to take you from where you are now to wherever it is you want to go. Um, it, like I said, there's no reason to be nervous at all. This is just something that we, uh, you know, we need to transition into. There's many, many differences between doing a, a deposition and providing CART for someone who is deaf or hard of hearing. And so it's just important to, to make sure that, that we're representing our industry in the best way possible and that we're doing our due diligence and we're being trained to do those things. So, and I'm happy to help you. I'm just an email away. So. That's great. Thanks. Yeah. Well, thanks, Denise. And I think that's important. You know, one of the resources I can't be is a coach really when it comes to writing. And that's where I really wanted to introduce Nisa. And just, you know, if, if you can talk to somebody to help you with some of those pieces, if you're getting into it brand new, I think it really does help uh, just smooth the transition. Obviously, if you're already, um, you know, in the industry and you've been doing it for a while, it's, it's not difficult to get into. But it also helps to know if you do need brush, you need a brush up, or if you need some help with your skills to have you know, resources like that. And I've had, and I've found that that's been harder and harder to come across as schools have been, you know, changing kind of their formats, they've been shrinking in numbers. So um, I think having that resource available is good. I'm always here to help too. So um, as far as getting you set up and running, um, you know, we'll set up a time to do that. Again, 10 to 15 minutes will be up and going. Um, but I'm also here during uh, live sessions as well. If you have a problem with the live event and can't get on it, we'll make sure you get on that event. Um, we're here to make sure you're successful. That's really our 100% of our job and to give you the tools to do that. So, um, hey, I want to thank you all for taking the time to join us and, and get an overview for Screen Text, just how easy it is to install and update. Um, we definitely are open for some question and answer. I don't know if you want to post some questions um, and let us know if you've got any. We can definitely answer a few of those um, if you've got any offhand. I'm able to actually see the, the comments, so if you do have any, just feel free to post them in there. Um, and I'll be able to follow up. Again, if you need to contact us in any way, feel free to contact, you know, go to ScreenText, support at ScreenText.net or through Facebook, and we can definitely get you connected to the right people and get you up and running as, uh, as soon as possible. So... Um, but anyways, I think we've kind of gone through all of it here. I don't know if Anissa has anything else to add at the end of it, but I appreciate Anissa for you taking the time to come in and just kind of give an overview from more of a writer's perspective too. Um, and it's all about really focusing on you and making you guys successful. So anyways, I appreciate your time and, uh, feel free to comment. Let us know if you've got any more questions. We'll definitely be setting up more of these, uh, sessions, um, in the coming weeks and months. Thank you very much.